my eyes deceive me or does it say originally rem did not exist in reaser i'm gonna guess more insane web novel shenanigans going on we got mr j coming in with another video let's check it out originally rem did not exist as a character in reaser and no this is not some weird who's rem joke this is actually real the thing about Tape, the author of ReZero, is that he's a genius when it comes to writing. In fact, one He's a genius when it comes to writing? Yeah, I think he's an exceptional writer. I think that the reason why ReZero is just so beloved by the fandom, and like the fact that how sweaty the show is, right? It's, it's not a simple story. It's a very, very deep and subtle story where nothing is really explicitly being told and there's like 10 separate assumptions always happening you got to really read between the lines some of the shit that he does in terms of trying to bait the audience right for example right now we're being led to believe that flugel is most likely the sage because he's the only wise man you know kind of great sage you know mentioned but could be someone else entirely right there's been definitely moments where we're led to believe one thing it's clearly he's guiding us in this specific path and then rather than rewarding the audience for Keeping up with all the different things that's been shown, he just slaps us in the fucking back of the head with a steel wheelchair, and it's something else entirely, which is enjoyable. One of the most important elements about ReZero is the fact that Tape already knows how the series will end. Tape has essentially outlined. Yeah, rather than someone just like improvising, as in like they have no clue what the future of the series is gonna be, they're just making shit up as they go. That is not a cohesive story, right? And quite often there's going to be a lot of plot holes and inconsistencies. But with a show like this, it seems like the whole storyboarding, not maybe not all the specific details, but the important key points has been established. And, you know, he's always trying to refer to that. Find everything which is going to happen in the series across the different arcs in the show. However, I don't think Suicide Squad anime is going to be a stain on Nagatsuki Tape because any reasonable person can understand that Warner Bros. Uh, their DC shit. I forget who even owns the DC IP, but like there's a lot of restrictions with it. There's obviously not a lot of opportunities to do creative writing. All they wanted to do was come up with a very safe and basic story. There's expectations there and no one was, I think, expecting something amazing. But when I did hear that Nagatsuki Tape did write Suicide Squad, I was like, no fucking way. Until I figured out, oh, it actually makes a lot of sense why they would, you know, give such a mid story. There was one thing he didn't account for, and that is Rem and Ram. I'm sure most of you already know that ReZero is planned to have 11 arcs. The web novel is currently- Like, straight up? 11 arcs total? ...on arc 7, and of course the anime just finished arc 4 in season 2. I think right now... Arc 8? Are we on arc 8 or 9? It's somewhere around there, right? ...of the anime, meaning that arc 5 will be covered in Sorry, season 3 light novel. of the ReZero anime. Now, the reason why this is really interesting is because Tappy actually only planned for there to be nine arcs, and you can see the tweet on screen here. Nine? One one. Nine. One one. No jokes. No jokes. Now, of course, the Google translated version of this tweet is pretty jank. So if we put into deep L, you can see what Tape was referring to. You can see that he says that chapter 2 wasn't initially planned. Now, for those wondering, chapter 2 means arc 2. So you can see that Tape stated that there were only 9 arcs, and then he wrote arc 2, meaning that there are 10 arcs, and then he decided to add another additional arc, making 11 arcs planned. Now, this of course means that when Tape wrote ReZero, Arc 2 did not exist, meaning that characters like Rem, Ram, and Beatrice didn't actually exist in the story. That's crazy. Also, this art is really cool. Very casual. Everyone wearing, like, you know, school uniforms. Priscilla and Amelia Lolly. That's weird. Priscilla still being... And, like, Chris right now gaming with Amelia. Anastasia driving. Oh, this is actually so fun. But, what was I gonna say? Arc 2 was never a thing? That's crazy. Arc 2 was, maybe some of the Arc 2 stuff was like incorporated into Arc 1 or the Arc 3 as we know it, but like skipping that shit entirely is crazy. A free zero. Originally, after Arc 1, so the situation in the royal capital where Subaru met Amelia, they would then immediately jump to the royal wow. selection. 
Now, the reason why this was a problem, which is covered by ISIS trivia. Well, you know, Rem was such an important factor in Subaru falling down to rock bottom and, you know, building himself back up with the help of Rem, you know, like, but if Rem didn't exist, how did that shit get handled? Is that Subaru and Amelia just sort of met. So imagine you're going from arc one to arc three. Most of you will imagine. Yeah, it makes no sense. Like the loot seller ship, Subaru just saved Amelia, but even in that run, we didn't even fucking meet. He just showed out of nowhere and suddenly just gonna help Amelia with the royal selection? Who the fuck are you? You're a stranger. Imagine the giant cringe moment in arc three where Subaru essentially betrays Amelia's trust and Amelia gets extremely upset about. Yeah, and like that would feel very superficial and shallow because why would Amelia even care about Subaru, right? If Arc 2 didn't happen, the bond, the relationships wouldn't be deep enough where a moment like, you know, Subaru is saying, you have a debt that you could never pay me back and Amelia is saying like, you know what, fuck you, you always doing this shit for yourself, not me. Like, that would have not mattered. So crazy how it was cut out. Now, of course, in the original story by Tape, this doesn't really make sense considering Subaru and Amelia just met. And if they then go to the royal selection, there's no real reason for Emilia to be hurt. Or yeah, and what about Roswell? What about Rem, Rem, Bieko, and everyone part of Emilia's camp? Do they just not exist in that version of the story? Through Emilia just met Subaru recently, so of course by this point they wouldn't have gotten to know each other. So what Tape did was he wrote in Arc 2, he introduced some new characters, which seemed to be Rem, Ram, and Beatrice. Wilhelm and Rem and such weren't in the original plan, so I am more or less a genius. I think that you are still a genius. The fact that you had the awareness to, you know, fix this shit. Herself. This is, of course, very obvious when you watch Arc 2, considering there was many moments between Subaru and Amelia. Just because you're a genius doesn't mean that you're gonna be not doing Pepega stuff, man. There's moments of genius that will happen, right, sporadically, and the more often it happens, the more it seems like you truly are a genius. Such as when they're outside on the courtyard, or during the pivotal lap pillow scene, where exactly. Subaru breaks down, and Amelia provides comfort. This art looks so weird because of Subaru's hair being down, which we've never really seen to make me think that this isn't even Subaru. But to him. Now, the reason why this is really interesting in the concept of ReZero is because if I was to ask you who is best girl of season one of ReZero? Best girl season one of ReZero? I mean, everyone has their different biases. I still like saying Ram for shits and giggles. But it probably should be Rem. Amelia honestly didn't do shit in season one. Think about it. Amelia was... She, she played little to no part in the story, in my opinion. She's a very important um, character to move the story, as she is the reason why Subaru... It's basically Subaru's main driving factor, but if you think about how Amelia was positioned in Arc 2 and 3... In Arc 1, there's more interaction, but Arc 2 and 3, not so much. Amelia's time to shine really comes in Season 2 after tanking hard throughout half of season two but i think that it really is rem the more i think about it throughout the entirety of the story how much they participated contributed how much impact they've had it's got to be rem Bro, most people will say that rem is the best character in fact when season one of re-zero was airing during 2016 most people were rem fans mm -hmm. and of course there was the whole pivotal I love Amelia scene. So you need to remember that when Tape originally wrote ReZero, Rem Giga Chad Marcus. I love that guy, even though he hasn't really done much. Rem did not even exist. So all of the scenes you see, such as the I love Amelia scene, Rem dying for Subaru's sake, and mm -hmm. even the what if route, sloth if, none of these scenes were actually planned. That's so crazy. it's really interesting to see how these were just made up characters for the sake of Arc 2 to, of course, make Subaru and Amelia's relationship better. But then it ended up just enhancing the story in such a significant way. Essentially, Arc 2 was filler, not in the sense that it's non-canon, but it's filler in the sense that it was only really there to improve Subaru and Amelia's 
relationship. So that the future arcs would make more sense. The characters would be already kind of quote unquote intimate enough to be lashing out and have those moments matter rather than strangers meeting for the first time and suddenly we're doing these like important shit but like who really cares like I don't really know you. So that in arc 3 when Subaru and Amelia had their argument it would actually be more believable to the audience and in that process Rem solidified herself as one of the best characters in the series and of course this doesn't just extend to Rem because you have other characters like Ram and even Wilhelm which what about Roswell? Was he just... Uh, there's no way... Roswell is such a fucking important character. I, I'm sure that Roswell and Biko would have gotten retconned in some way, but that is crazy that they skipped entirety of arc 2. ...wasn't planned in the original plot of ReZero. So hopefully you learned something new, and thank you for watching. That's pretty interesting. A world without Rem. What was he thinking? He wasn't. Well, he wasn't thinking enough. It's just a draft, right? And you can't just write perfect stuff immediately. There's going to be revisions. There's going to be you testing the story, trying to poke holes to see if sudden things make sense. And yeah, if you just went into arc three immediately without having those arc two moments, which are so, so crucial to deepen the bonds of not just Subaru and Amelia, but with Rem and Ram. And Biko honestly was also very important. Those moments were integral to kind of like hint and suggest what Biko is going through as she's waiting for the chosen one to arrive, right? So much important shit happening. Arc 2 may not be the people's like most favorite arcs. And I don't think Arc 2 is my favorite arc in Season 1 either. I think that my favorite arcs goes in order of Arc 3, 1, then 2. Doesn't mean 2 is bad, it's just relative to 1 and 3. I think that there was just so much fucking insane moments that I love. But in Arc 2, I think that I remember Episode 7 the most. The one I cried the most actually holy shit that episode 7 hit like a fucking truck but hey please go give mr jake like on the video check out his channel if you haven't here's a link and i will see you next time